I'm Sarah Young and I'm a solicitor with Ridley and Hall and I specialise in will disputes. And I'm Rebecca Kershaw and I'm an apprentice solicitor here in Ridley and Hall's litigation department. And we're here to talk a little bit about financial abuse. So what is financial abuse? So there's no accepted definition but broadly speaking it's a situation where one person takes advantage of another person for financial gain. And another term that people use is economic abuse and arguably that's a wider term that includes behaviour like grooming. Yeah. Um, so do you have any facts and figures for financial abuse? I have a couple. It, it is um, a, an offence, financial abuse. It can be criminal, not always a, a criminal offence. So it's a wide range of behaviour. So we could be talking about a carer nicking some money for, from a person that they're caring for, and that, that could be a criminal offence. Or we could be talking about a mum being persuaded to transfer her property into a son's name, for example. So there's a wide range of behaviour that's covered. But there is evidence to suggest that about 1% of the UK population over the age of 65 has been a victim of financial abuse. And that may sound like a small number, but that's about 130,000 adults. And that could be an underestimate because people who have been financially abused are often very ashamed and embarrassed and it's not reported or it's not even discovered. And another fairly startling statistic is that 50% of financial abuse of older people uh, tends to be by adult children. So it's within the family very often. That's horrible. And um, what, what are the impacts of financial abuse? So in my practice, I see financial abuse generally of older people and if it's during their lifetime and I meet with them, I can see that they are very often absolutely devastated emotionally. They feel stupid. They feel um, that their trust has been abused. It's, it's very, very upsetting, no matter what the amount is involved. And practically and financially, for older people, it can be very, very difficult because if it's a significant sum of money, and it usually is when people come to see a solicitor, then that, that could be their life savings taken from them. So it, it is really, really a very devastating situation that people can find themselves in. Gosh, that's horrible. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Next time we're going to be talking about trigger events and key points which you can look out for. Um, if you do need any help in the meantime, the website is linked below and you can get in contact with Sarah. Thank, thank you, you very much.